I think the greatest thing you can do with one of your friends is to remember them in your hearts and your minds and hear everybody is and I think it's just the coolest thing ever. I really do. Thanks a lot everyone for coming out on the 20th anniversary of the new Canadian Air Force and honoring a, a great man, J.P. Eau Claire. Here we are, Blackcomb wind lift session. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this go down. It's a throwback to the old days. The tribe has rallied. It's just good to be here, man. It's, it feels like old times. It's awesome to see everyone getting fired up, just sending it just strictly out of love for him. Vinny and JPs and Zox and Mike, they were just on the next level. And every single trick they did was groundbreaking and never been done before. And what really stood out for us was that a lot of the shots we saw were in Whistler. Well, this is where we kind of learned a lot of this stuff. So to be back here exactly 20 years later is super, super cool. Yeah! That was the first backflip mute I think I've done in about 10 years. That one's for JP. My back's sore, my shins will be sore, and I need a masseuse in a hot tub. I can't do those hard landings anymore. Yeah. Back to 97, baby! Back when skiing was just furry boots and mold cider and like kind of FIS bullshit, these guys stepped up, they turned it around, they took it backwards. And that's what made them rad. A guy once told me that anything less than 20 years old is just news, it's not history. And it's been 20 years now since the 1080 came out, so I guess we'll see. I saw a snowboard coming really big two years ago, like all new tricks. I was like, fuck, man, should I change for a snowboard? But like I said in my mind, fuck, there's something to do with ski. Like, we, there's not because we got pole that we can't grab, so. Last year, I started to do flip, like Misty's and Rodeo. And I think uh, ski is awesome, and we can kick snowboard ass easily. <laughs> Skiing was pretty much dead in the 90s. Snowboarding was taking off. Skiing was your parents' sport. Nobody, no, no one young with energy or that was cool was getting into skiing. And the new Canadian Air Force came along, and they invented twin tip skis. And that just, like, set it off. screaming for something like that to happen. It was a rebellion against the fist, you know? We went to Solomon with this idea for a high-performance twin-tip ski, and they were like, yeah, let's do it. The moment J.P. O'Clair walked up on stage after winning the U.S. Open, and he had this yellow 1080 above his head. Everyone in the room was just like, oh my god, that's coolest thing we've ever seen. No one had ever seen anything like this before in 720s with crosses and then the misty flips started getting busted out. These like off-axis rotations that no one thought possible and I was like that's where it's at. I want to do that stuff. Half pipe skiing for me, I think it's uh, one of the best thing ever because it's smooth and can diff definitely uh, find the style into the air. Get a lot of the sweet spot to keep your ski your speed going. So I think it's gonna be a big thing in the future. It was right there, right then, that second. This buzz just started kind of flying around skiing. and It opened the door to build a whole industry around it, a whole, like, attitude. I'm going to rule the world. Yeah, it happened so fast. It really did. It went from, like, OK, we're, we're doing something special. I got to keep going at it. All of a sudden, it was like, whoa, we did something special, and it's out of control. We 
were the hot shit, and everyone wanted a piece. They were rock stars all the way. They were partying, they had money, they were signing cars. It was totally insane, but it was awesome. And I was thinking, where is this gonna go? Fashion is, is maybe the latest trick, the latest uh, technical move, but style is, is something that's there forever and it's something that's personal with people and, and you know, everyone has their own style and that's, that's the kind of thing that sets people apart. If, if it wasn't for style, we'd all just be a bunch of gymnasts on snow and I, I don't think that's what it's about at all. The sport was kind of going in one direction, it was a bit of a tree trunk. You know, as we got into the 2000s, it got passed to the next generation. They took what the new Canadian Air Force did and sort of put their own twist on it, refined it, progressed it. The sport kind of took a bit of a boost for, uh, for the best, I think. And then it started to branch off into all sorts of different things. Now there's, you know, multiple highways and switchbacks that we can all travel down, you know, under the same banner of the love of skiing. much like you can only jump so big before you get really hurt kind of on top of the game. It was hard to keep up with the new kids that were pushing the sport, but um, that's when I sort of like faded out. It's hard to say exactly what happened, but I think, you know, we lost Jay after a few injuries, then JP started to do his thing, then Mike was doing his thing, and... We went from kind of cruising the world together to being all off doing our own things. Shane really pushed the backcountry. He pushed it on JP, he pushed it on Douglas, I think you push it on the right guys. Well, this year my goal was to start taking some of the tricks that we do in the snow park and in the half pipe and start taking them into the back, oh, not back country. Natural terrain called. Natural okay. terrain. When you go into the natural terrain, dude, you can't call it like that. When you go. Off piste, say off piste. Off piste? Sure. Is it rolling? Rolling. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, jerk off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Douglas. <laughs> You're a waste of time, dude. JP had really gotten into this sort of this backcountry mountaineering, you know, which was cool because JP was always evolving, whether it was creatively or as a skier. And when I got the news that he died in the avalanche in South America, was, that was really tough to take for sure. Today, like we never expected something to happen to me, either of us, you know. He should have been here for sure with us. That's exactly what he was all about, you know? Skiing with friends and, yeah, having a good time. We gotta get Vinny in motion or he's gonna freeze up. All right, I'm going. That's yeah. fun, man. Good. What are you gonna do, a three? Come on, three. Five. All right, let's, go. let's go to the box this time and see if we can make it across. All right, all right. 
Ready? No pressure, nothing but I want to see another flip. Wait for the seniors discount. We're not pros anymore. From another country where people are suffering. Let's get a little JP chant going here. JP! 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 Hey, you! JP would be stoked. You can see like just how much he meant to every single person here and like the straight passion that everyone has. I can't imagine JP being happier. Yeah, it's incredible to be here and see the boys since where it all began. Vinny! Yeah, 20 years and it's still evolving. Now my kids are in it. Whoa! <laughs> and you stick a trick that that uh, nobody ever done. It's like the best feeling you can have. I hope there's gonna be some new kids who gonna keep doing my job and push the spark even higher. And I see kids out there just ripping every day, no matter what. You know, that's the stuff that gets me pumped. Skiing is freaking cool. There's something about skiing that will never leave. I think the spirit of excitement is still alive and well in our sport. The different trends that free skiing has gone through that, you know, the new kid Air Force kicked off have been important because if everybody was just exactly the same, that, that wouldn't be free skiing. There becomes a time when your body won't let you do what you used to be able to do. You're never gonna be as good as you used to be. And you have to start to accept that and when you see your kids loving what you love, honestly, it's as good as it gets. Pretty crazy. <laughs> It's, it's one of the only sports that you can do from the day you learn to walk until the day you can't walk anymore. Yeah! <laughs> and the thrills yeah. aren't so much about doing tricks on skis anymore, but that ski has taken me to more places in the world and through more experiences than I ever would have imagined. <laughs>